Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. If your refrigerator has a door-mounted dispenser, then it will likely have a solenoid that switches between crushed and cubed ice. A faulty solenoid can prevent ice cubes from being released, which means only crushed ice will be dispensed. In this episode, first, we'll learn how it all works. Then, we'll do some tests with a multimeter. Finally, we'll see how to install a new solenoid. First, the ice maker ejects the ice cubes into the bin. When you press the paddle, it triggers a micro switch. The auger motor pushes the ice forward and out through the dispenser. When you select cubed ice, a solenoid will open a flap and allow the cubes to fall down the chute. When you select crushed ice, the flap will stay closed and the ice is crushed between several blades. Some models do not have a solenoid. Instead, the motor will switch directions to crush the ice. Now, if the solenoid fails, then the flap will not open and no ice cubes will come out. Alternatively, any issues with the control board can also prevent the dispenser from working. Using a multimeter, components can be tested for continuity. A continuity test will determine if there is a continuous path for electricity to flow through. Without continuity, the component will not work and will need to be replaced. To begin, you might need a screwdriver or nut driver and a multimeter. Keep in mind there is some variation between models and not all refrigerators will have the same parts. You can enter your model number on the Amory Supply website to see a parts breakdown. This can be helpful to show you which parts are in your refrigerator and where they are located. If your solenoid is located in the door, then you'll have to remove the dispenser module. You can learn more in the video linked below. In most cases, the solenoid is located in the back of the freezer. This is the type that we'll be replacing. First, slide the refrigerator out from the wall. When there is enough room, unplug the cord to disconnect the power. In this case, you can work on the refrigerator in place with it still against the wall. First, slide out the ice bucket assembly. On the bottom, you should be able to move the arm that opens the flap. Look for any blockages or broken pieces that would prevent the flap from opening. Now inspect the solenoid clutch. It should move up and down freely. If it's stuck, then it's best to replace the solenoid. The solenoid can also fail electrically, but to test this, you'll have to remove the auger motor assembly. Now disconnect the wire harness. Next, remove the mounting screws. Now lift up and remove the assembly. It's best to take a picture of the wires for reference. Now disconnect the wires. The solenoid can be tested in place, but to make it easier, we'll unscrew and remove it first. Set your multimeter to the ohms or resistance setting. Now touch the probes to each terminal. There should be a resistance reading of around 20 to 100 ohms. If there is no resistance or no continuity, then the solenoid has likely failed electrically. In some cases, 
it can also fail mechanically. If the pin is stuck, then the solenoid will not work. In many cases, it's best to install a new one. Align the solenoid and tighten the screws. Now reconnect the wires. Align the hooks onto the mount. Now tighten the mounting screws. Next, reconnect the wire harness. Now replace the ice bucket assembly. Plug in the cord to reconnect the power. Now slide it back into place. Make sure to leave a couple of inches of space between the refrigerator and the wall. This will allow for proper airflow. Now test the refrigerator to see if it's working properly. If you've eliminated all other problems and it's still not working, then it could be an issue with the dispenser control board. You can see this in more detail in the video linked below. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.